right here we are we're out once again and as you can see it's kind of dark but uh, it's not night time it's actually early morning it's about seven o'clock uh, back at seven uh, we're at Gurdon with the aim of catching a few cod there's been a lot of cod caught up and down the coast here so I thought I'd come out and try myself they're better at night but uh, I fell asleep last night so <laughs> So I thought, well, well, come out today, see what I can do. Maybe daylight, but it's dark. It's, it's gonna get, it's gonna stay cloudy in that. So hopefully that will help. It's gonna rain. It feels the rain now actually. Uh, it's meant to be a bit misty. Uh, it's a bit chilly, but it's not gonna be too cold. Uh, low tide is in about 15 minutes time. Uh, there's water there, but there's not a lot on the rocks. So once once the tide comes in, I may actually move along the wall and fish over the back of the wall into the rocks and that. <coughs> so as I say, cod is our main uh, target here. Basically it's about the only thing you will catch around here. Well, crabs. And uh, ah, the noise of seagulls there up early. Uh, apart from that, I'm not sure what you can catch. Maybe get, maybe get cold fish like. But uh, yeah, and I'll give you a look around later on once it's daylight, you can see something. But uh, I'm using the two rods, One's, one I've got a 5-0 uh, pulley rig on, the other I've got a 2 one -oh hook pattern roster. Just to see, because I've seen a few guys going on about, oh they're getting bites but they're not catching fish, so I'll keep one at a small hook, see if I can catch. See if there's maybe a lot of small stuff that's going about that's not getting caught, so we'll see. And hopefully we'll catch something big on the big hook. But you never know, you might catch something big on the wee hook. Hey, we live in hope. So there we go, that's where we are. That's what we're fishing for, and we're fishing for it with a uh, bait wise. We've got the uh, bluey, we've got mackerel, it's still a bit frozen. Kind of hard squid. Pretty hard. <laughs> Black lug, they are solid. And a uh, couple of peeler crab. Just thought I'd chuck them in just to see what would happen. It might be a good bait, but uh, yeah. I don't know. I haven't got much with them. <laughs> Even flounders, I don't know. I must be doing something wrong. But uh, there you go, as I say, two rods and we'll see what we can do, uh, hopefully cod, something, something so I can get a supper tonight, that would be good, that would be a bloody, that would be amazing, <laughs> me catch decent sized cod, uh, last one I had was it, uh, that would be St Andrews, that was just over five pound I think that was. I thought it was going to be my personal best with that one, but uh, nah, the scales wouldn't go down that extra half pound, God damn it. So, <laughs> well at least I know I can get good cod at St Andrews. I did actually think of going there, uh, but you can fish onto the sand and you can catch all the flies and whatnot. You fish into the rocks and you catch cod, so you've got two uh, different types of grounds uh, within yards of each other. Which is kind of good. Can get a better catch, better variety of fish, but uh, I could come up here. So let's shut up and let's get baited up and get some uh, some of this bait put to good use, as in catching fish. Right, so that's us baited up. The water's a bit calm just now, but uh, I see further out there's a bit of wave action, so hopefully once that comes in and start beating about here, it'll bring the fish in. Because that's what you want, you want a bit of movement in the water. So, we bait it up, let's get it in the water.
Oh, that's that. Oh, that's a wolf. Not a good stop. <laughs> oh, Jesus. But it's in the water anyway. And we're five minutes off of that sorted. So, that's us casting. It's always a good idea to check your line before you cast. As both rods had their line around the eye, the, the, the light, the tip light. If I'd cast that, I'd lost the top light. Maybe it lost the top of my rod as well, so... Hey, makes sense to check. Not really what I was hoping for. Uh. Well, at least there's a cod. <laughs> Small it may be, but it's a cod. And a lump of weed. Well, I'll, I'll give you a wee look round. You've probably seen it all before. But... Hmm. Well, as you can see, I'm fishing there, right, right up the channel until the water comes in a bit and then I'll move along the wall. Hey. This is Gurdon. It's not too bad, because uh, when it's kind of quiet and there's not a lot of boats working, you can, you can actually get your car parked up and down here. Hey. There's little marks on the wall that show you where it cast in. So you, hey. so you're and like the gullies. Uh, quite a few folk get fish out of them. Right up there. It's a shellfish factory. The guys over there, uh, they'll probably be putting the old shells from the various shellfish to get into the boat and uh, later on take them away out and dump them at sea. At the back there you see the brown building, that's actually a restaurant. Down the bottom is actually a carry out, you get fish and chips, which is good. I wish it was open now, could do with something. Could have a bacon roll actually, but uh, there's no way to buy it any around here. The hills at the back. That's the, har the harbour entrance there. In the harbour. We've got the inner harbour there that you see, and then uh, there's this outer harbour. Which is what you're looking at now. That's the outer harbour. It's just basically uh, houses round about. A couple of boats on the beach there. Trying to watch for bites. <laughs> Living in hope. Guys have got other creels out there. Once the warmer weather comes in, I suppose we'll be getting them all back out again. More houses, top of the car. You can see the rocks over the back there. And you see the wall at the back, uh, the wall over there as well. That wall. I, I don't. 
a I wouldn't say it's the safest place to fish from that wall actually. I fancy trying it a couple of times but it's uh, the long walk along that narrow wall and if the waves pick up they the, the really can come right over the top of that wall, I've seen it. Uh, I've fished in it. <laughs> That's not healthy for you either. And there we go back to there. I'll show you. I'll climb up these steps and I'll show you the back wall. Well, once I, once I get up, I'm getting old. There we go. <coughs> There's all the channels. It's all rocky. And once the tide comes in a bit, uh, a lot of people fish off the back wall here. Casting in there. And I can see... Yeah, there's a couple of lines. Oh yeah. I don't know if I'll be able to pick it out or not. Somebody lost their line down there. So... I wonder if that's the same one that's down there. Down by that point. Oh, well, we'll never know. <laughs> but they uh, used to dump all their shellfish down here as well. So if you're looking for uh, shell, uh, shells to decorate a garden or something, this would be worth a walk down at low tide. Yeah, plenty of them. Either that, or you just ask the guys at the at the place, at the shellfish place, if you can get them. They probably give you them because they just want rid of them. Ah. And that's us. <laughs> Advertise. Right. So we'll get back to watching the fishing rods doing nothing. I, I have picked up quite a bit of weed. And one fish. Fantastic. But the, the sun's coming out. It's not, not really what I wanted. But there you go. Can't have everything. And I thought I was going to pick up the waves and that because they were rough earlier on but they seem to have smoothed off. Nothing's going right. Uh, ah well, that's fishing. That's fun. <coughs> oh, we do have a boat leaving the harbour. If it's deep enough, it'll get out. to take one of my lines in because it was across the, across the harbour entrance. Too easy getting out of this harbour. Not, not this state of the tide.
trying to watch the boat and trying to watch my rods at the same time. Nothing happening on the rods. Better waste of time actually, yeah. <laughs> They're just standing there doing nothing. But the creels there. Yeah. What they're going to have to do is the creels. Yeah. Now that's half tight, and as you can see, we've moved. We're actually up by the, the bin up here. Uh, but the boats were running out and in, so I gave up in there. And I was catching a lot of crabs anyway. So come up here. Both are loaded up with 5 0. Uh, Pulley rigs, big baits. You might be see the rods moving. It's a, uh, I think there's weed out there. Getting moved about by the weed. But I see them got over the wall. That's when I know there's a fish. I hope. Yeah. But uh, yeah, apart from a lot of weed, uh, some crabs. <laughs> none of us, none of which were keepers, and one wee codlin. <laughs> It's not been fantastic. But uh, uh, the wind never picked up the waves, suddenly big, you know, it's calm. <laughs> I'd have been better going to L LA Beach or something. It's good weather for a beach, actually. Uh, ah, well, can't be right all the time. But uh, be here for quite a while. I've got piles of bait. I can last for about 12 hours or something. Needing anything, and there's a restaurant over there. When it opens, I'll get something to eat as well. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea to me. And I'm needing more coffee as well, actually. So, yeah. But it's warm and it's <laughs> invaded with black bugs, flying black flies. She's in the middle of her own. Jesus, man. I don't know. What do you think? But uh, that's nice, that's nature. And <laughs> some nature I could live without. <laughs> so we'll keep at it and see how things go. There's nobody else down there. Uh, sensible people, they know when not to fish. Unlike me, I don't. Well, that's, uh, that's high tide and what an exciting day it's been. Yeah, right. <laughs> I've had one one week codling and that was way early on. I've had quite a few crabs. Uh, I've had a couple of good bites since I moved up here. But uh, never never caught them. What a downer. And I've lost uh, a few bits of gear as well. <sighs> Expensive hobby fishing, isn't it? And, uh, and I can't turn the Turn the camera that way, you can see the, the rough water out there, just over the wall. A lot, lot of white water. It's not coming on, not coming over this wall, thankfully. <laughs> Sometimes it does when, they, when you get a decent tide and a uh, lot of wave action. But, uh, yeah. So, well hang on, I've got pl plenty of bait. Of, Got about three leads left. <laughs> I run out of lead, I'll have to start using whatever lead I Rocks or bolts or bits of chain. It all works. I've got two books for the tools. So we'll keep at it and see what happens. Hopefully when it gets a bit dark, which at this time of the year won't be too long actually. I it's about, about two o'clock just now. I'll try to see if that we restaurant so well the restaurant upstairs is but I don't know about the takeaway. <clears throat> yeah, I'm running out of coffee. It's just one of those days. Oh it's a red light up there. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> That's sort of different kind of video. Uh, right, so as I say, we'll keep at it and see if we can turn up. 
and hopefully a, a few other anglers will turn up to we get a bit of wind with the back there, right? Uh, uh, they said the wind was going to come come down for the north northeast. It'll pick up later on today and tomorrow, so I should have waited till tomorrow till the rough weather come in. But ah, let's see what we do do tonight. Right, let's keep at it. That's a codlin. <laughs> oh god, that's about six years since the last one. Oh well. It's a fish anyway. Whoops. Bit in a small side. He's going back. One to another. Well, at least it's a little bit bigger than what I've caught before. Biggest today. <laughs> Biggest today now. Uh. Well, still not as still not as big as I was hoping for, but uh, I'm getting there. <laughs> right, that's about half past six or something. So that's quite a length of time I've been out. Something about quarter to eight this morning, something like that. And I've only managed four. Poor little codlin. Ugh, such a life. I mean, you have had a few crabs and a lot of weeds, so need to pull something out of the water. <laughs> oh god. Oh, oh. And I've lost. Must be about five traces. Uh, I've run, run out of lead. Uh, and bait. So. So we'll call it a day and um, oh that is cold. Next time I'm out I hope I hope I get a few more fish. I must do. And hopefully I'll be out catching trying to catch cod, but I think it'll be for, from somewhere else next time. Give this place a buy and try Bervey or there's a lot of places up and down there. There are broth, there are cages. I've not tried them for a while. Yeah. So we'll see how things go. And hope you enjoyed this little short video, which is actually short. So until next time, tight lines. <laughs>